Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Overall, the past couple days have been pretty tame weather-wise, but here's your first alert to an active pattern setting up over the area over the next 48 to 72 hours as we are going to have a warm front very slowly lifting from the south into our neck of the woods. And that's going to bring in a surge of moisture, therefore leading to multiple rounds of rain and thunderstorms starting around daybreak tomorrow and continuing all the way through the end of the day on Saturday. During that period of time, we are going to have the potential of some heavy rainfall, therefore leading to increased flooding concerns, and that may even come with a few strong to severe thunderstorms. Right now, I think the greatest possibility of that would be down along I-94 tomorrow. Meanwhile, on Saturday, there's quite a bit of uncertainty. I really should say the next two days, there's quite a bit of uncertainty as far as the severe threat. That's going to hinge on how much rain is around in the morning, how much time the atmosphere has to destabilize. So we're going to continue to keep a close eye on that for you. Should there be any severe weather, main threat really going to be some damaging winds. There will be a secondary threat of some large hail and per uh, perhaps an isolated tornado. But overall, that is very low. Another first alert to pass along to you is a flood watch that has been issued for our west and southwestern counties. It starts at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and runs through 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon because with all that heavy rain, we are looking at several inches of accumulation. And given that the ground is so saturated with all the recent moisture, that will easily lead to flooding. So something else we're going to keep a close eye on satellite radar this afternoon showing a band of rain working uh, basically from southwest to northeast mainly impacting areas north and west of eau claire but those chances do stay with us into this evening and as for those temperatures across the badger state once again they are seasonably cool so not feeling very summer like out there for the first day of summer we've got those anywhere from the 60s to the 70s warmest off to the south where they've had a bit of sunshine 77 Currently in Madison, compare that with Wisconsin Rapids, where we're at 67, 73 currently in Eau Claire. As mentioned, off to the south, here's this warm front that's very slowly going to be lifting northward. It's not going to be until uh, some at some point tomorrow where that boundary finally starts to edge its way into the upper Midwest here. Here's that area of showers. We have all the cloud cover. And for tonight, we're going to call it mostly cloudy again. A few showers possible this evening. We do dry out into the mid uh, overnight hours. And then around daybreak tomorrow, here comes that first wave of showers and thunderstorms with some heavy rainfall possible. We'll have more rounds of rain and storms throughout the day. This is going to take us even into tomorrow night as we're tracking more rounds of showers and thunderstorms. And uh, pretty much you get the picture. We're going to see much the same as we head into Saturday. A little bit of discrepancy on what Saturday looks like. Some models have us drying out towards the afternoon. Other models have more rain in the area. Uh, so we are going to keep a close eye on that. But as far as rainfall amounts from tomorrow through the end of the day on Saturday, you're seeing this right. Take uh, what you're seeing here with a grain of salt. It's not going to be exactly what you're seeing here at a given location. But broadly speaking, western Wisconsin is likely to see between one to four inches of rain, maybe even two to four inches of rain right here in the Chippewa Valley. Because of that potential, we have uh, declared a first alert watch for both tomorrow into Saturday. We'll have to see if those do become alert days. Otherwise, on Sunday, we do finally dry things out. Plenty of sunshine. That'll be the case in the next week and quite a few days with temperatures into the 80s. That sky cast looks very green and colorful. Yellow. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Skittles all over yeah. the map. All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. Our entertainment news.